Hello, hello. We are back, and this time we're doing Red Dead Redemption 2. A game that I'm not entirely sure why I stopped recording a while ago. I think I had some problems with my save, so I'm not entirely sure. But hey, it's time to get back to it, and it's a wonderful game. I haven't seen that much of it, probably about 6-7 hours of it. <laughs> Hello Sebastian, how are you? And of course... I am here to entertain, and you guys are here to keep me company. While I go through this game, losing my mind, trying to find all the collectibles, because, you know, I have a trademark to maintain. So we just got to delve into the story straight away, and hopefully it will work. So apologies in advance for any technical difficulties or any weird so sound glitches. There shouldn't be any, but yeah. You never know. After all, we're live. Definitely get your holy liquid. By 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of laws. Even the West had mostly been tamed. A few gangs still roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. Rockstar Games present. Hello, Amber. Welcome. Red Dead Redemption 2. Funnily enough, every time I try to write Red Dead, I always write red like I read. <laughs> Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. If it's weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Chapter One, Falter. Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. 
Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. But what really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. We need you strong. Okay. The boss has spoken. Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Yeah. That's a blizzard, all right? Careful over this bridge here. Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? You up ahead. Who's there? It definitely what? does. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. 
Davey was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, or <laughs> was. Yeah. Let me just adjust the dialogue a little bit. John, we don't know quite a business. Yep. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope. Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Yes, boss. You run into anybody else? I I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. I was worried, Micah. Look, it's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Well, I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp, back up the hill. It ain't much, but shelter. So, this house, you speak to the people there already? No. Like Dutch told us, look, but don't talk to no one. Just following orders, you know me. Right. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Stop and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Whoa. Okay, let's head down there. I love the environment in this game. It's really well made. And of course the cinematography is crazy. Let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. <laughs> Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Thanks, boss, for the good cover. Uh, right button. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. <laughs> I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, trail. we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need... Some There's a body food in the wagon. Uh, I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, bud. I would like my gun. Thank you. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please. Yeah, look out! There's more to faster! It's a little bit loud. It's 
gonna fix that very quickly. So you go down one, you go down one, and you go up. Apparently I cannot loot them. Okay. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Beans, fruit, and biscuit. Oh, nice. Biscuit. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. Wanting Colm dead about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Jake and... Sadie wedding. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Yes, boss. How do I get to that guy? I don't. stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin and see what we miss. Sure. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. 
Where's Como Driscoll? With the others. Where? At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Please, please, uh, spare me. I, I promise you, you won't see me again. Okay. No, I know I will see you again. So no. You will shoot me in the back the moment I'm not looking. So nope. Left button. And pick up my hat. Thank you. That's why none of them gets to survive. Is that bastard still in there? He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. You need to hitch him. He's already skittish. I mean, what horse wouldn't be spooked after all these gunshots? I can just burn your home because she's clumsy. Three days ago, and all this been me. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Hi Arthur, welcome. Hey, somebody's coming. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there. There is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, 
A little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler. Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he'd look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Well, he's actually oh Dutch, God. I think. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. His name is Van der Lind, something like that. And if I'm not mistaken, it's an actual historical person. Obviously. Uh, hey, I see some smoke. Chains for the narrative of the story. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well... Seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Ha! Kyle, my Two hours ago, most. Cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. And suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. The Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. They continue along the cliff wall here. Davey got shot, Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn 
snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Watch yourself, it's not very wide here. Thankfully we have cinematic camera that uh, takes us where we need to go automatically. Come on, boy. Horses are struggling. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. can hear us. Where is here? Up there. It's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I'd grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? That's a good point. Uh, horse weapon. No. That's better. Sure about this. Over here. Help! It's coming from this way. Okay. Careful here. Yeah, that we're high up here. You're telling me. Help me. That's a massive drop. Down here, watch yourself. Watch out here. Stay low under here. Okay, good now. Watch your step, this is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Gap here. Over here. That sounds closer now. What do I have for stamina? Uh, let's have some beans. Keep moving then. Come on. John, can you hear me? John! John! Marston, you hear me? I'm here! Out of the ledge! That's John! We're coming! Over here! He's down here! Down here! All right! Hot down, Mars! 
Ashton? Arthur, come on. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Look up there. I'll distract him while you get to the horse. Go! Draw them off. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Close. Draw them off us, Arthur. This way. Got them all. Good work, Arthur. Ouch. Okay, let's get going before any more of these bastards show up. How do I reload? Quick, or any more show up. Let's Don't go, Javier. Let's get back to the others. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a a dog bite. Just a bigger one. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. More coming down the hill. shelter now thanks for coming for me of course that bullet in black water now this got a hell of a time should ride in the water for a bit try to lose a scent don't want to leave a trail right back to camp you know we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar so freezing bleeding starving <laughs> damn near getting eaten to death escaping all of the wolves here let's cross to the left it's a pretty good story. Come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Come on! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? <laughs> Some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Uh, here we go. 
There we go. Ay, careful, idiotas, it's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. you. Got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Lost maidens. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <sighs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Uh, left one to so what now, the journal. We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. It's a mop. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. We've been running for weeks. I mean, running more than usual. The job they was pulling in Blackwater, robbing that ferry. It turned into a disaster. Young Jenny got killed, poor thing. While Son and Mac both got arrested or killed. Nobody seems sure which. That saw the girl. I'm not sure if it was by accident or design. It seems like it have been a setup. We talked to the hills in an almighty scramble, leaving money and most of our belongings behind. For now, we got this. We're safe. Stay strong, folks. Are we? Miracle Tonic. Are there more drawers? Yes. And the money's well hidden in Blackwater? I believe so. And they don't even know we dumped it. Oh, uh, well, you can wait there. We weren't there, Jose. I'm aware of that. And they shouldn't have been either. Oh, we can't change nothing now. That's a creepy doll. You okay in here, Molly? It might be warmer by the fire. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Morning, friend. Yep, I'll be done. Boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I mm -hmm. ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <A> party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folks been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. 
They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah. Yes, that's southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. A camp near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core of their planet. And yes, there seems to be a theme with the creepy dolls in the games I play recently. Tracks, horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. He definitely has a good way of um, storytelling. gentlemen this is it are we goddamn ready ready dutch good now mr morgan and i we're gonna head up here a little see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp mr williamson mr bell you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp mr summers mr escuela you two hold position here Let's go. Dream team. They are. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. Slap, Are slap. Even? Seem to be. Should we go get him? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. <laughs> All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. 
You're not wrong, Dutch. You're not wrong. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Mm, give me this one. Good. Come on, let's go. I should probably get the other one. We'll circle around this one. Our side and go down that way, same as Micah and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Put the weapon away again. This way. Oh, Last thing I want to do is shoot and get the whole camp on me. I mean, it will probably happen. Take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. So, what are we doing here? Nudge, I can take this if you want. Just make a call. You want to take the lead? Go. So we got everything we need. Make the call, Arthur. Okay. I'll go first. Not that one, wrong one. Uh, fully restores health, yes.
I don't remember it having auto aim. Must be in the settings. leaving any resources behind. The seven cents. Defend. Got better cover. going come back a lot of bodies. Can I take the hat? Nope. But fashion is important. Bourbon. I 
think there is one more. Yes, this guy. What you got on you, bro? Okay, so that's done. I think if I use big lie, I can see for resources. I think I remember something like that, unless that's not usable at the moment. All done, boss. There is looting to be done. Uh, item will the diatonic in use. They not. Okay, that's better. We don't have time to mess around. Almost done. Two more bodies. Good work, boys. Now let's tear this place apart. <clears throat> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Clark, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could use the die to find stuff. Cigar, crackers, veggies. I cannot take any more chewing tobacco. Let's use some of it. And replenish it. Perfect. That's a bunch of goodies. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. It smells good. Hello, Michael. How are you, buddy? Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Sounds good, Michael. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Matt, Charles and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this hit will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. That's the plan. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. I got him. Uh, lasso. Bring him back alive. He could be useful. Oh, 
of course. You got yeah. Yeah. Come back, friend. I just want to talk to you. You exist. Uh, trigger. You're coming with me. Please, please, you don't need to do this. Of course I do. Let me take your stuff first. Okay. Oh God, no. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? <laughs> it's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy, Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. <laughs> so I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Too early to scream now. We're not even there yet. Please. No. Don't do this, please. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. I don't know nothing real about them. Honest. I've only been running with them a couple of months. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Cause I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> I love Arthur. He's a great character. Introduce you to the boys. Oh, and they will be very pleased to meet you. Don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. <laughs> no, they're not. Found a little shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting. Save fellas as need saving. And feed them as need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son! <laughs> well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Out in his plans. Whatever. <laughs> so, what do we have? Colter, hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Jose and I had been planning a robbery of our own in Blackwater. 
but I guess that's been abandoned along with most of what I owe. I'm profoundly concerned as to what happens next. Once we leave this place, or any law find us cowering here. Found a girl. Well, a woman, I should say. Her husband has been murdered by some of Colonel O'Driscoll boys. Nasty business. That's the last page. Yes, that was the last page. Okay. Uh, which one? Progress. Uh, chapter one. So we have the checklist. Okay, so that's all done. That's a gold. That works. Kill all without taking any damage. <laughs> Complete with at least 80% accuracy. Nope. Uh, catch Kieran. Easy. Did I use? Complete. In headshots. Yes. No. Okay. That's right. They'll become gold at a later date. For now. No. And I think the game does auto save, but let me just make sure we have a proper save. Because it didn't look like it had any. And of course, the last thing I want is to end up with no save. Okay, let's go do the other quest. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> It'll be fine, Mr. Pearson. Good morning, Ashley. How are you? We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough, enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. <laughs> All right, let's head out. I'm doing pretty good, Ashley. Right button and How X. Okay. I'm okay. Apart from this hand. This stupid mistake. Have you not seen this no game, man. Ashley? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so really? I we're gonna find something to kill. It ain't no Driscoll. I think you'll enjoy it. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just... A lot to think back on. 
I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but you sure weren't good. I've played the first one many, many years ago, and I've played a little bit of this, um, but never actually finished it. So I know a couple things up to a point, but definitely not the whole thing. And it's one of those games that there is so much to do. Some patches of grass here. I would imagine. This is good. Let's look down this way. Hmm. The winds died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Oh yeah, this has a story. And a lot of characters with uh, a lot of depth. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Let me get the bow. Give me the bow. There's a deer been here. Oh. Recently. How can you tell? Yeah, okay, boy. Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Uh, bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. Keep your head down. You see the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. Both of them to activate a glide. There it is. Uh, right button. Whoa. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to trust me. Nearly as well in grass and woods. Him? Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. You can pull back. Nice. See if you can get another one. I'm going to hunt another deer, but where is another deer? Further down, I'm guess. Oh, that way. Yes. That's okay. Try again. Uh, let's have... Uh, now, how do I do this again? This way. Cover with this. I think 
That's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hand's okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Horsey, where are you? Also, items, health, energy. Sure, let's have some kidney beans when we can. That should do it, boy. So, this and this. Arthur is a tough boy. <laughs> Careful. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> I've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, so well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? You're yeah, a pretty big gun. On our heads. They're gonna need it. Country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Oh, botch it. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind <laughs> enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah, uh, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores of them for years. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Oh, it's a bear. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got <laughs> enough here. No need to push our luck. Oh, but Must why? Be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Hold. Guys, it's a big cuddly teddy. We ain't ever talked that much. 
it's you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but the Dutch... You know... Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things. Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always be the driver. He always has a plan. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody <laughs> but him. I mean, a horse named Count. I'm gonna hitch time it would only here. work with a boss. Brought some food back, boys. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, and, uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well! <clears throat> Just drop it down in here. <gasps> what a surprise! Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. <laughs> you go rest that hand, Charles. we will be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> you always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one, you, you dumped on the floor there. Too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> it certainly has. Master Hunter challenge a few days later. Been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Mm -hmm. well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, you just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He'd see me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now... Suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. All right, we're moving out. Follow me. Okay, so the challenge is where is it? Uh, challenges. Uh, can I do any of the other ones? So I need to skin three deer. Okay. Unlocks the Master Hunter of Hand Holster at the Trouble. Okay. So that's definitely on the to do. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscoll, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take it. the front cars and deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? <laughs> Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride!
snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell. Charles Smith. Ah! Micah Bell. Charles Smith. Arthur Morgan. Javier Escuela. And what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. Yes, boss. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater right. to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. If we go back, what I say, we go back. And that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Whoa. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Hold. Go see what Bill is doing. Nope, I cannot inspect your horse. Okay. Right there, bro. How you getting on? Yeah, I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. <coughs> Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay. I can do that. What happens if I press the button? You go boom. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Okay, okay. Have to say, I'm rather looking forward to this. Just be ready to move quick and remember the plan, all of you. Yes, here comes the boom. No mistakes, never mistakes, boss. We got What's it. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train mm, items. Be here any minute now. One day I will use it properly. What? Yes. Yes. That includes okay. you, Arthur. Working on it, boss. No one will figure out who I am if I cover my face. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Me. Where did you find that moron? You 
said it was fine. It's my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh. Run! Take the bourbon. Can I drink any bourbon? Uh, health cure, pitches. So let's have that. the thing do the deed shouldn't we push up we will we will Western edition. Yep. How are you doing there? I mean, it's made from the same company, so you know. We gotta hurry. We have to stop this train. That's what we're doing, kid. Actually, I think I can look later. So, uh, give me, give me, give me. Oh, 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 oh. Rude. the other one. Don't be rude, I'm trying to look here.
can see now why the O'Driscolls brought so many boys up here for this. Arthur, get over here. Coming, boss. Uh, let's have one of those. And... Other than that, there's stuff to be collected here. We are a poor gang. We need to make money. We don't have time to play games. Well, we kind of are playing a game currently, you know. We won't mention that. Come on, go up. What are you doing? Get over here. Patient. Currently, I cannot loot those guys. Up, oh, hello. Yeah. You two all right? Yes. Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. <laughs> dynamite time. Go blow that door open. Yes, boss. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. <laughs> Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Hello, Mavis. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. I look now in peace. <laughs> Also, why is the dead eye red? Let's have one of those. You have something that actually exhausts it. So that's energy. My energy is fine. Ah, yes. Okay, so I need food to fix that. Uh, health, no, next, health, energy, this. Okay, that's better. Go loot the train. Quick. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Letter to Leviticus Cornwall hey, from Leland Oil Development Company. This open. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reservation, Ambarino. As agreed in the contract between Cornwall Kerosene and Tar in the Leland Oil Development Company, dated November 9th, 1898. 
On receipt of the funds, we'll proceed with phase two and three in the project and present you with a detailed report of our finding within the month. Useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah blah blah. You got anything? Not really. But sugar imports from the Spanish I West bet. Indies. A, a lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. That's Mr. Leviticus, I'm guessing. Have you checked all With the top hat. And cabinets? I'm working on it. Come on, let's hurry this along, boys. Premium cigarettes and money. Any luck, Nothing much yet. Ooh. Let's keep looking. That's a collectible. God damn. Billy Midnight. Famous Gunslinger card These nine. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur. Oh. Have you looked down the end there? <sighs> well, keep looking. There must be something. Is there nothing here for me? Nope. You guys can. Oh, brandy. Yes. Thank you for the alcohol. That will be appreciated. Uh, cabinet. I don't see this one. Bingo. No, this looks like some. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> what did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Currently, I'm on clean up duty. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Go on. Quickly. Good. Uh, can I get up? Here, yes. Anything else that I missed? Any other collectible? I don't want to pick up the guard. Why do you keep showing me that I have something to collect here? I don't think the guard is a collectible. Ah, this one has something. Sorry, I doubted game. Must be the other guys on top. I cannot pick those up. Exactly. You are stealthy as long as there are no witnesses.
our stimuli. Okay. Hi, T. It's going good. Just been a hoarder and trying to make sure I loot everything before I leave. Exactly. Don't be <laughs> Not quite, not quite. Did I find a random coin? Twenty-five cents, I'm rich. I wonder what could you buy back then with 25 cents? Any candy was a thing? I guess it would be. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Hello, demonetization, my old friend. <laughs> Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. <laughs> True. But the thing is, like, why would you mute this? This is what sets the whole mood for the game.
keep us moving, but car. Ah, shit. Okay. Flat tire. Let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. Well, the thing is, like, Rockstar who made this game, they paid probably a huge amount of money to get the copyright to use this. So effectively, YouTube is striking them, not hey, us. You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> not quite. I mean, it's like saying, play Death Stranding with no music. It's 90% of the experience gone. You think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. <laughs> hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? It's a long story. Are we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. I thirst in the place. No, I haven't. Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know. Maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. 
you and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Oh, for sure, Thurston. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. I can definitely see why, Thurston. I've seen only maybe 10% of it. But it certainly. No, don't, no, no. Not in front of me. Getting a fur ride. Getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Yeah. Like earlier, even in the beginning with all the snow and stuff in the blizzard, it's like they paid a lot of attention to the weather. And the whole effects and you know the scenery. You were wrong, Jose. This place Here is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe we make a bit of money here then we move again head out around them be west of uncle sam in a few months buy some land i hope so <laughs> would you just look around you this world has its consolations <laughs> gentlemen i'm going to head into the local town and uh, you know make money see if i can strike up <laughs> a little business of course herr strauss I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. <laughs> now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. 
Real food. That means every day. Good morning, Slipper. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> How are you today, Slipper? weeks later doing pretty good we got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the heartland we've been this far east in many a year dutch seems a little better his eyes are sparkling once more and i can see he's thinking a little clearer i think we all feel a little happier Spot of black water in that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. Coffee. <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> I haven't tried online, Slipper. Uh, when you're gonna lose weight, it affects my stats. Okay, so... Uh... Player. Arthur. So, this is what I really like about this game. It has so much detail on things. Weight, perfect, temperature, fair, honor. I'm honorable, I'm guessing. Yes. Uh, toxicity. I'm alright. Well being. Alright. <laughs> Thirty, nice. That's a lot. <clears throat> uh, permanent increase the times that they go like and stay active by five seconds. Nice. That was my first upgrade. Health conditions. Uh, core time remaining one hundred thirty-eight minutes. Okay. Horse is fine. I actually know which horse I want to go get because I know there is a horse you can get, and uh, it's a nice one. Let's just save. Also, uh, did I somehow disable auto save? They mess up. Uh, general. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I played a little bit of it um, before, but never the whole thing. So now I'm going to pretty much do the whole thing and everything alongside it. So we're going to be here for a while. Oh, Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. Yes, boss. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. I mean, I think they say that this one in a completionist run is about 300 hours, Sebastian. <laughs>
Uh, let's trim the hair and let's uh, let's clean up a little bit. I want to let it grow all down to a three. Let's clean up a little. We need to look presentable. We're gonna see people. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Can I get some room? Sure. Uh, why, Brit? I was a girl until your call commanded me to cross the sea. I've nothing left. I gave you all. My darling Leafy uh, was so small. Your land and love are vast and free. I was a girl until your call. You stood so strong and dark and tall. You stole my heartbeat out of me. I have nothing left. I ah, gave you all. Now. I'm reading. <laughs> I just wanted to read your poem. Are you gone? Okay, I'm going back to read. <laughs> I did, but I was going to replay it after you released the tutorial, but I haven't gone back to it. You stole so strong and dark and tall. You stole the heartbeat out of me. I have nothing left. I gave you all. Your lips and chant, your eyes and throat. Your empire is of ecstasy. I was a girl until your call. Your parasites and lichens crawl, mocking a love they dare not see. I have nothing left. You. Okay. Um, let me give you a ring. Uh, I'm gonna sell the gold stuff, take the chip stuff. That. <laughs> I will. It's definitely on my to do, Thurston. Don't worry. I like that the game lets you do like little mundane things and you actually earn things from it like chopping wood and carrying bags and stuff it's nice it's a nice touch Honor and character attributes can increase by partaking in daily chores. Good, good, good. Yup. There is a lot of detailed animation, that's for sure. Okay, so I don't have any of that. Good morning. Good morning, friend. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. Certainly, but I have a question. Why is your apron under your shirt? <laughs> Subtle. Soon, soon, Thurston. Uh, ah, so to get that, I need to do donations as well, and I need leather working tools. Okay, well, how do I find the leather working tools? Uh, I need another one. Leather working tools, socks hide. More leather working. Roll on carcass. B 
Beaver, Muskrat, and Fox. Okay, so that's all from hunting. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Uh huh. Well, I give you every everything. No. Take the fish. I'll go hunting. Uh, donate for funds. No, that's very little for funds. I'll need it for crafting. So that's that. Uh, anything else they need done around here? I'll tell Dodge if you keep at me like this. Arthur. Uh, How's the cigar? So I took the boat. Not bad. But sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in them black water. I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> I don't take too much pride in your work. Companions will lost help retrieving an item. Find and return to the camp for a reward. Okay. So Dodge wants a pipe. Noted. Uh, photograph. What's this? Rambles through woods and plains. A field guide to botanical kingdom. Ah, I can take that. Okay. Spring Rocks, 1870. Beatrice Morgan. Probably Arthur's mother. Don't really feel like we are hidden. This is as hidden as we're gonna get. Unless you want to live in a cave. I suppose you're right. Caves are very humid. Is there anything down here? Uh, I don't see anything that I can pick up. Just a bunch of garbage. Okay. Uh, map. So we have a quest from Uncle. We have a quest from Reverend Swanson and we have a quest from Javier hmm. in Valentine. Well, let's talk with Uncle. Guys, why are you breaking things? But before that. We got chores to do. To level up the dead eye. You're Arthur, right? That's me. No concern of yours. Fifty percent to level three. Nice. Yeah, well, we'll leave it there. Anyhow. No, nope. I don't talk to you. Okay. Coffee? Yes, please. Well, they have a thermos. Is it not going down? It is. Okay. You'll be fine. 
Here, I can eat in front of you if you like. I'm sure that will make you happy. Trigger. Arthur, don't throw things on the ground. I am Miguel. Morning to you. Okay, that's all I get. Hi, horse. Uh. Yeah, good boy. Can you see Walker? Okay, Uncle. Hold on, Angle. There's another chore to be done. I like the interactions and how they make the camp look very alive. Like everyone is doing their nice thing. Work, Mr. Morgan. Thank you, thank you. Like, these little interactions are great. People are getting hungry, Pearson. Helps a lot with immersion. When it's ready. Or they die. So what does... Uh, up is for the horse, down shows the time, and my honor. Okay. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? <laughs> Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Let's go. Yep. All some lyrics for sure. <laughs> Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Oh, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. 
Some bagel, really. Hey, horsey. <laughs> and yes, very wholesome lyrics that fit the time. <laughs> Lumba Gibbs. Poor Arthur. He's the one who has to do it all. Also, I love those mountains. Just saying. the women <laughs> well anyway thank you mm, can i inspect this horse nope Oh, thank you. you. Lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, are no, we are no. You? To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> beep beep. Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. I sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. <laughs> Park up down the end there, near the stables. That's enough for one day. Hi, dog. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I imagine Paris and so that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to ask why either. Why? <laughs> you are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. <laughs> this dialogue. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morgan. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. 
Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Sure. Stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf. Here's the door. Okay, so what do I want to sell? Um, so Miracle Oil heals everything. Snake Oil heals a little bit. Anything, All done, bro. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, gun Oil, I need that. He doesn't want that. Well, I have money. I don't need it, so. So, Wait. you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? <laughs> See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Uh, what's this? I mean... Repeating munition, so that's arrows. I have arrows, I'm fine. Uh, well Thank you kindly. It's an article from the States. Ah, this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. Ooh, a uh, coffee that percolator. Let's go wait for them outside. The brew coffee at your camp. I'll buy that. Uh, display the current time. Do I have a watch? Yes, I think I do. It doesn't say I do, but I'm pretty sure I do. Outfits. Well, hello. Now you're talking my language. Uh, we got no money. That is a tragedy. Who is going to wear a possum skin hat? <laughs> uh, Duster's coat. Oh, the coats are not that bad. Scout jacket, shotgun coat, that looks nice. Can I see it? That is a very nice coat. Let's get it. Um yes, fashion is important. Polar over shirt. Do you have something? No, you... Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's go with black or gray. Uh, black. And... Well, we also have black. Can I equip what I bought and then see it on? Because I definitely want one of those. I love how the game is like, oh yeah, buy provisions. I'm like, nah, I'll buy fashion items. <laughs> which one, which one? The black and the gold or the gold and the red? Uh, we will need some pants. Those look somewhat okay. Town pants, runs, fancy pants. Fancy pants, of course. Uh, but they don't look fancy enough. No. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to come back when I have money. Ooh, gloves. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely have to come back when I have money. There is a lot of things to get here. Okay, so I can actually see what I bought. So if I quickly... Go back into the clothing. And look at the vest. And go back to this vest. Yeah, this one is growing on me.
Yeah, I can live with that. Only the new hat soon, but yes. Uh, buy ground coffee for a dollar. All the best, fellas. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Did you know? Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. <laughs> nope, that is not ideal. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. You can go kiss a bear snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! I've been looking to get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go away right with now. Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Every time I think Valentine is getting better, I hear a story like that. Can I help you, sir? I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? Use you looking your... for a room? <laughs> Use your strength. I probably need to talk to you. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather, mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. <laughs> Just a friend visiting, you know. No trouble now, please. There won't be none. Don't worry. Everything is fine. Everything is under control. Well, get the hell out of here, will you? <laughs> Sorry. Wrong room. <laughs> get a bag of some goddamn peace. Get off of me. I'm getting what I paid for. No. Get off of me. Hey. Hey, you. A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. I ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Think you two could stop. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You failed. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and but stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Hello, Ray. Welcome. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. 
All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. <laughs> Go, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Just yeah. gonna say hi. I'm gonna introduce myself. Hey, just bowing it. <laughs> get back here right now. Start it again. I don't want no trouble. You kind of started the trouble yourself, sir. Before that, Help. horse, come on, <laughs> don't kick me. Help me. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no, I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now, please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. All right. Come on. Come on, let's be friends. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here, you want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. <laughs> Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Come on, come on. You have a nice day now, sir. I'll have a wonderful day. Yeah. Thank you for the pen. Let's get some plants. Wild carrot. Nice. Anything else I can pick up? Uh. Those are highlighted, so I can pick those up. Mushrooms. Parasol mushrooms. Okay. Oh, quest to pick up six of those red ones. Okay, I can do that. Is it pick up six or pick up six from six locations? Uh, let's see. Progress. Challenges. Uh, probabilist. Yes, so pick up another three of those. 
Indian Tabat. Okay, I'll have to find some more of these red ones. Uh, or see, can we be friends? to Valentine. Oh, and this marks the flowers as well. That's good. Come Driscoll's got designs on it. Do they? You got the look of a pleader. You a pleader, friend. I've only got to click my fingers and this town will string you up and call it justice. You want me to set you straight, huh? Hey. Don't mind me, I'm leaving. I don't want to fight you. Hey there, fella. Not with the sheriff around. Spread the word, the old Driscolls are here. I'm smarter than that. Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. <laughs> Oops. Teller just told me there's more whorehouses opening up. Uh, you sell food. I don't need any food. Very good. Right. All right, but no porn shopping. Right. Funny way to amuse yourself. Howdy, fellers. Partner? Partner? Greetings, amigo. Greetings. I thought it was a back door exit, okay? I don't want to go from full damage, so let's go down the safe way. It's uh you. Yes. yes. It is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I won't be in none. We are all friends here. And there is an activity over there, probably the sheriff. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Hello, mister. Where are they? Are they in the store? Howdy. Have a look around. Oh, they are in the saloon. Okay. Thanks, partner. <laughs> hey, all right, there we go. Oh, I 
Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. And that's so Arthur. Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our <laughs> answer. Come here, you. Hey, we have a brawl. Hi, Beefcake. <laughs> yes, he's tiny. We're done, Tommy. Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! Come, sir. You won the fight already, surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Here in my coat. My new outfit. And my ribs. Making new friends. I won't talk about them. I see, Arthur. Mm-hmm. Always. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well. well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. 
Well, if we step foot in Blackwater. Uh, ah. <laughs> well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. <laughs> I will definitely stay. Storage can uh, that can be stored. I don't think any of them had a fancy hat. For me to use. Nope. I think that's my hat, isn't it? Uh, they look the same. No, they're not. Well, let's go have a, a bit of a bath. We cannot walk around like that. Sure, I'll shoot you. I wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. There you go. And there we go. Oh, did I lose honor for that? Why? It was a duel. It challenged me. I mean, I challenged him. Welcome back. Oh, it's because I loot him. Oh, oops. Hold on. Um, sir. Oh, shit. Nah. You guys see nothing. I would like to have a sour. Oh, my God. No. I'm a customer. Murder. It was not murder. I hope done here. You stop right now, or you're dead. This ain't a fight, you know. Oh, Come on now, don't let me take you in with a fight. Help, Get back, God all right? Damn unbelievable. Get those goddamn okay, hands up. Okay, take it easy. You keep moving, and I will Let's kill you where you stand. Take a breath. Oops. Okay, okay. No need to make things any worse. Just come with me. I'll pay. I'll pay my five bucks. I just wanted to have a sour in the duel. Yeah, well, apparently now I'm clean. Six AM, five Celsius. Ooh, that's cold. Four dollars. I got the discount. Uh, 
what's in here? Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened oh, this in guy. the saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. <laughs> well, now I have a bounty. And hi, puppy. Can I pet you? Yes. Hello, boy. That's a good boy. Best game, you get to pet a puppy. Now. Uh, Why is this locked? Because of the time. I'm guessing. Newspaper. I want to buy a newspaper. Why can I not buy a newspaper? Too early? This means... Uh, what can I go do until it opens? I can go to the post office. And look around here. Do I have any other missions? The missions are to go back on the camp. So... I wonder if there's anything that tells me when they actually open. Hmm. I would expect the newspaper guy to be open, like, first thing in the morning. I mean, it would kind of make sense to me. But... Ah, yeah. Serif. Move! Don't get comfy. Got Hi. money on you being back in that cell before long. Sheriff? You know, there's something about this place. Oh, yeah? I'll be keeping my eye on you this time. Don't test me again. Hey there. I'm here for business. I imagine you got your work cut out for you around here. Morning. I suggest you cut and run, friend. Why is the news... 
newspaper. You goddamn idiot. How did they clip the newspaper between the table? Wow. Okay. You had your fun, friend. Now get out of here. I'm going, I'm going. Let me see you anytime soon, you hear? How the hell are you? Well as can be, I suppose. Well, that's all right. Yeah, welcome. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? Yes. Yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? See, that's a great little detail. He's like, oh, I know what you did. I know you had that fun talk with the guy. I know who you are. Let's do customization. Uh, hunting knife. Wait, I can do stuff to my knife. I don't have anything to do to it. Uh, can I do anything to this revolver? I can pay to clean it. There just ain't no way to fine tuning your gun, you know? Sure, clean it. Components. Uh, grip, barrel, iron sight. I bet sight. this will shoot better with some new sights. Uh, how much does this cost? Increased barrel, better accuracy. Stability. Ooh. Okay, there is a bit of customization and it's a little bit expensive. But that's okay. We can work with that. All the trouble in Valentine late and people are starting to talk about the curse again. What else can I buy? Uh, accessories. What do you have for me? Uh, you have a bandolier. Capacity for repeater rifles, shotgun ammo by 50, cost 70 bucks. Oof. Uh, Lancaster, upgraded holster, weapon degradation, gun belt, capacity for revolver, 58 bucks. Yeah, we have a few of expensive things to take care of here. Okay. And yes, Sebastian, a glitch in the matrix. Shotgun 190. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep, everything is expensive. Everything is very expensive. Well, thanks, sir. Just browsing. Uh, you, Mister, excuse me. Howdy. You know when you have one of those days. How about that? So the newspaper is here, but I cannot do anything with it. Oh, oops. Wait, that's my horse, right? Yeah, that's my horse. Oi. You're okay, boy. They tricked me. They're like, what are you doing? Do this by horse. <laughs> I mean, I got a few of them. Right here, horsey. Oh, damn it. Well, hello to you, too. is not impressed. What's this? Hey, if you are proficient with a gun or arrow, we seek animals for a wildlife art exhibition. Specimens must be in perfect condition. Low caliber kills only. See at our expense. One adult rabbit, one average squirrel. Okay. I'll take it. That's a quest. So one rabbit and one squirrel. How do I get... Oh, cigarette card. Dr. Hawthorne's Domestic Brand Cigarettes Valentine. 
Paste the scenery. Okay. Hey, mister. We don't need more trouble from you here. I'm just saying hi. Just making friends. Hello there, pleased to see you. Hi. Uh, I don't have a bounty, do I? Robbed up in the Grizzlies. No, Had no. Mr. Cornwall's car on him, apparently. Happy to help you start over. Thanks, Mister. Hello. Oh. Apparently, people pay their dues in the post office. Hello. Well, he likes to play with his instrument. Are there any animals around here? But I better be careful because fall damage is a thing and the horse can die. That might have happened a couple times in the past. Oh, there's a rabbit. Ooh, no, <clears throat> I don't want to step on the rabbit. Do I have a bow? I should, right? Um, give me the bow. some energy the wind sounds fancy very eerie Is that a rabbit? I think that's a rabbit. There's more pew pew down there, apparently. Not my business. I just want the rabbit. Oh, I see you. Oh, 
Oh, what happened to the deer? Hello? Well, something took down the deer. And the rabbit is gone. Again. Okay. We're not getting a rabbit at the moment, then. I'm here, Hershey. That's a rabbit. That's how you get a rabbit. And apparently there is a talent. I need to get five of them from a horseback. That gave me a lot of points in dead eye. That's good. Yep. Just a little bit. One Arthur, pick it up. Hey Arthur. All done. Person we have fresh meat. <laughs> Me too. Give me a tent, will you? Uh, I don't want the upgrades. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Take the purpose. Skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, skill 10. He can make just about anything. You can drop in on him. And for more wood chopping. Is it like a minute per second? Yeah, it sort of looks like it. Okay, that's done. I uh, definitely need to eat something. What do you have to eat, Arthur? You need food. Food, not cigarettes. Food. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, boss. Right. Hey there, Tilly. Good morning. Always good to see you. Morning. Good morning to you. Hey, Arthur. 
Hello. We're going hunting. Okay, let me finish my chore. One second. My reputation is at stake here. gonna suffer sir can I wash here I don't think I can no that's what there was never oh yes we're going hunting you want to go hunting Yes. What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. And I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. Time for more horses. Fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Studied. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Where's the good apart, my friend? Come on. Come on, he's not that bad. All the time. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. <laughs> Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well... Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. That was a hell of a lot easier rob when they... What the hell are you talking about? You're all right, boy. I don't know you. Yeah, okay, boy. Stables are just up ahead. Go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. 
I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Uh... I'm gonna sell this one because I'm gonna get another one. 65 bucks, that's pretty good. Ah, look, there is a tiny little horse called Morgan. And Thoroughbred. Is that what I just sold? Uh, that's a free horse. That's a very expensive horse. $450 back then. Oof. Okay. Yeah, give me the free one. My horse. Uh, I'm not good with horse names, so yeah, you're temporary until right, I get Martin. the other one. You got yourself a deal and a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. Oh, thank and you. Some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. Let's give it a bit of a uh, clean brush. Okay. I brush you. Can I feed you? Oh, I'm leading you so. Uh, you won't know but... till you get in the saddle. Stop leading. Russ. Are you gonna mount that new horse of yours or not? Why is everyone so hasty? Let me take care of my horse. My horse is amazing. Hop on up there. Let's go. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So, how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now it was a year jose he ditched us for a goddamn year i've spoken to him many times he knows he did wrong he just wants to put it behind him i'm sure he does running off on that kid is one thing but there's code he knows that he ain't trelawney dutch and you pretty much raised him i know but it's done has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place, Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way.
the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Where do you think Mike and Lenny got to? Susan sent them out scouting, but I figure they'd be back by now. I have no idea. I hope they weren't picked up. Why she sent Mike, I don't know. He's effective in his own way. And Lenny's got a good head on his shoulders. Nighty. Well, I shouldn't have well. taken him this long. No, but no point thinking the worst. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Yes. Sure. Try to chew one. You don't want to use anything too powerful. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up. Was there the rabbit? Right, will come. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. Did they glitch it? <gasps> okay, uh, let's do rabbit. Right? You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. How much meat do I have on me? I heard that. get some rest I want to be up at first light to find this monster sleep until morning he better be worth all this drama <clears throat> morning Arthur <clears throat> you ready well, give me a minute. Coffee? Always. Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but... We'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I... 
grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear okay. meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Okay, let's go. Yes, we will. Is there something to pick up around here? No. All right, girl. Easy. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. <laughs> she understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out and staying in. It's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Legendary animal territory. Okay. Some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Yup. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. Tracks going to those trees. Stay on his tracks, Arthur. Working on it. Here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if it's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Like it. Ends here. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Uh, well, what do you think? I think we split up and each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Bait. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it.
there is a small problem. A thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Another horsey. Just take a look at that bait. Hold on, Jose. Need to get the good stuff with me. Because the bear is no joke. Uh. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Of course, wait. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? That's a mean looking bear. No, it's too cool. I'm dead. Not the weapon I was planning to use. Uh retry checkpoint. Why do you give me the revolver? Let's just take a look at that bait. The revolver won't do anything. Sure. Let me see. We only just said it, Jose. And the revolver won't do anything. Or there. Ah, yeah. That reminds me. I should probably. Um. Yeah. Bring one of these. That bear is no joke. So you know, gotta be prepared for everything. See, patience is a virtue. You get too close, the bear messes you. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. Nope, only revolver. Okay. That is a bear, all right? <laughs> that is the power of a bear. You don't mess with a bear. Is he gone? You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing at all. Thank you. You're not the one who got mauled by the bear. That was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... Oh no, I'm staying. Or not? No, no. I'm going to stick around here for a while. That bear's mine. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! So... Can I maintain you? You're not that in such a bad condition. Um, items. 
what do I have that gives me health? Like a lot of like this much health. Okay. Uh I need to find the bear. Alright. Looks like something. Looks a way off. Must be near. There you are. I was close. Uh, heal. I don't know, just can't. Oh, yeah, okay. Just need to be on the right angle. Because, you know, skinning a bear is a five minute job. <laughs> Mercy, I'm here. Pick up anything else? No. So if I look at my satchel, where's my satchel? Satchel is here. Sugar cube. Sure. So I can only have 20 items, I think. No, I cannot pick up anymore. Okay. Well. Come on, girl. Not bad, girl. So need to go to the trapper. So bear is gone. Trapper is over here for the waypoint. Go. Yep. And I should probably have a bow ready in case I find any more rabbits or anything. Having a barbecue. I I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Hmm. No, okay. It's okay, girl. Yep. 
Apparently Mr. Prospector doesn't have any quests for me at the moment. Take this to the trapper and then I think I'll go get the horse or try to get the horse. something here why are there broken trees and herbs this is lavender hummingbird saves okay You're a squirrel. Hold on, squirrel. the squirrel another year poor quality okay well, I tried. Hey there. Ah. Yeah. I look like a goat. Hold on. That is not a normal tree. What kind of tree is that? Yeah. That's a weird tree. I'm guessing that's a, like a collectible. Yeah. That doesn't sound friendly. Did you see that tree? <laughs> Defying uh, all logic. Oh, uh, that's a deer. Hey, Bambi. Nope. I tried. Yes. Interesting and peculiar. Sir, I'm yes. a blow in myself. Uh, I would like 
my hands. Why can I not talk to you? Because game is being silly. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, you can have the squirrel. You can have the big game Done. meat. Three bucks for a bear. So we'll take it all. And the bear pellet. So, because I think I need Quality to sell it to him for it to be available. It. So to get the bear hunter. Yep, I have the legendary pelt. Yeah. The bear hunter. <laughs> Is that like a whole outfit? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Trophy back. Catcher. One of a kind pelts make one of a kind garments. Worth the lake work, I assure you. Without I look like Chuck Norris. In the ghost bison. Okay. So that was the garments. Wait, you have 16 garments? How many? Ooh, you have a lot of stuff. Struggler. I like the hat for the Bronco. Desperado. So, clothing. You know, if I hear one more of my trappers tell the story of a snow white boar out in the blue water marsh, I'm going to start thinking we've got a deal. This has to be the most... I don't know. They don't look like very... Handy shoes. Uh, but those are good. So those are the challenges that unlock them. So they unlock every three, three years. Makes sense. else I can make and ooh bait predator gun oil I'd what? wager I can travel faster with this stall and tow than you or anyone can with nothing but a horse how do I unlock it's throwing knives it's about hmm. knowing the land well uh do you have anything that can restore the die stamina Restore a little bit of the die. Okay. Time for the big horse. But for that, I need to go to the mountains. And if I remember right, it's somewhere here. So it's a long, long hike. Hey, I need a horse. A man like Arthur needs a proper horse. And I'm sure we'll find more things on the way. There's a predator? What? Is there a snake? Yes, I don't see anything else that would spook it. Is that another trick? Did I just find another questionable trick? What's up with those trees? Mm, 
Save. Yep. That's the other one. I think that's the no. No squirrel. We're not fighting now. Did I take this one? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, those trees are bizarre. You should see the other one. So, um, where was it? So that's like the chill tree. But there was another one that was like a fork. Ah, that one up there. So I'm like, I have questions. Why are the trees like that? All right, girl. I bet they point to something. But I'll come back for that. I remember it's near the trapper, so it should be fairly easy to find again. Because I know for a fact this game has a lot of bizarre collectibles. Yeah. Oh, uh, campfire. If I go, they're gonna shoot me, aren't they? Yeah. How you doing? Well, I'm doing great. Look at all the deer. Roadkill. Yeah, it's rotten. Yep. Actually, I do need the deer, right? For the hunter thing. I'm here. enough stamina okay apparently that's a thing Arthur needs to have a nap I think I don't remember him being that exhausted actually better it might be a good idea to have the nap before I go for the horse otherwise I'm gonna lose the horse as well that would be a pain Arthur is too tired to mess with a deer. Or too weak. One of the two. Yeah. So where do I get... No, I don't want to use my gun. Which way to a slip place? Uh, wait. Where am I? I'm down there. Keep going until I get the city. Yeah. Sorry, Arthur. You had a very long day. I can inspect those.
Okay, bye. Random stranger. Ah, Driscoll's. Not a thing happens round here without no Driscoll saying so. Understand me? Well, since there is no one here to see you guys die. Off your trot. We'll be sure to keep a bullet board. No, you won't do anything. Uh, I have four of them. Just listen out for the accent. Why is there a traveler? Traveler, why are you? Bye. You didn't see anything. You won't see anything. Everything is fine. Four dollars. I'm taking the hub. You see nothing. That was not me. You're not a witness. Random person who happened to be nearby. Ours. Why everything wants to run in front of me? Medieval timers, they taught me that there are there is loot here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you definitely did not hear anything. He's like, I don't know nothing. I know nothing. Just. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean he could if he wants to be a dead body as well. Kentucky bourbon. So what is the Kentucky bourbon? Do you have any Kentucky bourbon here? You have chewing tobacco, Kentucky, Kentucky, Kentucky. Uh, there it is. He's a smart fella. That I cannot use the chewing tobacco. We'll use the chewing tobacco. Give me that. Give me the jewelry. Give me the elixir. Now, I think the elixirs actually level up things. I think. Yep. Uh, where is it? Mm, yes, health experience. That's what I want. Because you do level up your stats by doing things. So, how do I level up my stats for stamina? Since my stamina is atrocious. Uh, progression level 2. Special equipment. Uh, why is my well-being not there? Hmm... So my weight is average. What does average mean? Up. So average makes me... Okay, so I have higher stamina drain, but I take less damage. So I've been eating too much. And I need to change my outfit. Okay. 
Noted and noted. Are you going to shoot me? Help a blind man. Okay, here you are. Yeah, take a dollar. I tell thee, bethink yourself before taking possession of another man's horse, for not all will go willingly. All right. Well, Say to the Take your word for it. <laughs> Okay, thanks for the sage advice, blind man. I just took my dollar. I'm going... There was a quest there. Stranger. Nope, I don't want to deal with a stranger. Keep going up to the town. Oh, and now I can do bounties. Okay. So a lot of the activities were locked. Nope. It's happening. Arthur, why? I will need a new outfit, so probably I should go back to the camp. Because I have one of my outfits, but I need a winter one as well. I think I do have a winter one. Uh, decisions, decisions... Mm. If I should turn, I should turn now. Nah. Let's keep going. I'll slip in a real in. Easy, girl. Are we holding steady? That'll be a write-off. Move along, we'll get you next. <laughs> you two can't win a fair fight, that it? Oh. <laughs> Nobody said a thing. Put the gun away, Arthur. Everything is fine. So apparently shooting a man is fine, but picking his pockets is not. Okay. That's wild west for you, I guess. Mister? You have a fine evening. I will have a fine evening, thank you. Thanks, Porsche. For that is what this country needs to help each other. You're a filthy one, ain't you? I mean, I do need to have a bit of a sour. Bye. Good evening. 
What are they building? I was in this building here before. Was there? It's not about survival of the fittest. Oh, it's you. Hi. Hello, sir. You're just full of charity, ain't you? Well, I'm just trying to help where I can, sir. Or interfere. <clears throat> you would have killed that man. What I do is none of your damn business, okay? Okay, okay, <coughs> okay, sir. <coughs> <coughs> Please be generous. Be generous. Help people. Try to do what you can. Your philanthropic organization. You want money? Okay. Can I give you money? Let's make this country a brotherhood of man. I mean, so I suppose. We're in it together. We can be one. Why can I not sleep? Hi. Hey. Hey. Why won't you talk to me? Okay. All right here, folks. Well, apparently the guy didn't want to talk to me, but I can still pay for services. Sounds legit. You red light. Spicy. Uh, I don't think the bathtub is up here. Oh, now you will talk to me. <laughs> okay. Well, he was glitched out. Oh, yeah. You know what? I haven't done. Save. Yeah, and I don't have auto save for some weird reason. Hmm. There should be a way to reactivate auto save, right? Uh. Where would it be? It doesn't make sense for it to be anywhere here. Mm. It would have to be here, but there is nothing that shows that. Oh, here I can see my collectibles. Cool. I'll have to figure that part out. Okay. Ah, it's time to show. Can I be of any assistance in there? Certainly. Deluxe bath 50 cents, yes. Yeah, okay. Sure. You can just leave it to me now. Let me know if I'm scrubbing too hard, okay? You let me know if you need anything, all right? Sorry for smell. It's been a while. Let's just keep that between us and these four walls, shall we? Been a while since I've been able to relax like this. Mm -hmm. Well, then. <laughs> yep. I mean, it's deluxe, right? So, how are you doing? Good, good. Uh, 
for the leg. Uh, this is the first time I've been able to relax in ages. I wouldn't want that for anyone. Aren't you so glad you dropped by? All right, I think I'm good. It was a pleasure. All the best to you. Thank you, thank you. I am clean now. And after a steamy shower, it's time for sleep. Oh, I can change my outfits here too. Cool. Okay. Uh, look at reflection. Uh, you ugly bastard. <laughs> You're getting old. Okay. Old and kind of sad. No wonder they all leave you. Nothing uplifting to say about yourself, Arthur. You sour-faced idiot. You ain't fooling no one. Okay. Is that like a cathartic moment for you? Sense clothing. So. Uh, save this outfit. Yes, that's my custom outfit. I have those. Mm-hmm. I think he does. Uh, there is a, this is suitable for hot temperatures, so the, okay, I don't want the hot one, I need to make another one. Modify. Oh, apparently there are modifications, that's a thing. I did not know that was a thing. Puts, oh boy, so many settings. Uh, increase timing lies. Yes, equip that. It is equipped. Mm. Makes no difference. Bandelier. Nope. We do not want the bandelier. Gloves. I would like some gloves. Uh, slightly warm. We, well, this is the warm outfit, so I'm going to take that. Neck gear. Uh, no, I like the, this one. That's my ugly bandana. I do not need a mask. One out of three masks on your horse. Oh, the ones that I'm storing on me. Yes, okay. Uh, let's go with the fancy ones because they have the bonus. Let's have a variation. How do I change the variation on this? Just color. Uh, good for hot weather, no protection from the cold. So I don't have warm boots, apparently, which I'll need to buy at some point. Okay. Well, for now, we'll go with this one. I think. Uh, or this. Passion is important. Chops. Uh, nope. Suspenders. Sure. We need new pants, Arthur. 
and a nice long vacation. <laughs> uh, okay, you get the blue jeans, they look better. Search is fine. that I think when you buy items you buy them with that cloth with that uh, color okay so well, let's go with a beaver hat because Store on horse, yes. Uh, outfit. I want this. I want to save this outfit again. I have a sec. Uh, one, two. Yes. So two. Wait. I want to keep this. I want to delete this. Remove for horse. Uh, delete number one and then I want one that will be good for light weather suitable for hot temperatures ah, actually what I can do I can use this as a base and go and remove the coat it's slightly warm it's not very warm uh no coat and remove the gloves and that should be good enough for the heat now i want to store this uh save outfit I have one and two. So store on horse. Good. Now I have both of them on the horse. Perfect. Arthur, sleep. Sleep, buddy. Uh, wake up. Ooh. Well, sleep until night and then you're gonna sleep again until day. I need you fresh. We have an adventure. Wanted to go get a white stallion. An Arabian. I think it's called. Ah, new journal entry. What do you have on your journal? What do you write? Besides the tree. Ooh. Uh, read. Met a strange guy. Thought he was a prophet. Okay. Love that he documents just absolutely everything. Um. So, weapons. I don't have anything else to not carry with me. Hold on, this is... Yeah, I don't have... I cannot have two at the same time, right? No, I don't. Equip to back. Yes. So that's my standard loadout. Sleep until morning.
So his scores must be much better now. Oh yeah, they are all replenished. That's perfect. Oh, it's a nice sunny day. Perfect. You my horse. Yes, you are my horse. You're literally called my horse. <laughs> So anyone has a good recommendation for a horse name for a white horse? Come on, girl. Because I'm gonna take forever to get there. Might as well uh, begin the conversation. anymore and we're not you know the other prophet dude they won't forgive you uh -uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me there is no forgiveness none friend none <laughs> I, I know you want it i can smell it on you <laughs> well it ain't happening no, 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 he didn't. That's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here, well away from them. See, they come for me, but I'm watching. Yeah. I, I never sleep. I never do. You look like a man who needs some coffee. Let's go, girl. <laughs> yep. Who's talking? Hmm. To the snowy peaks we go. Okay, time to change clothes. Uh, can I change clothes? So that's. Okay. Hey, mister, help me! My okay. horse died and I'm stuck here. Uh, you gotta help me, mister. You wanna steal my horse, aren't you? It's not how you ask for hell. Yeah. Will you talk to me now? No? Okay, bye. You're not getting help. Uh, what's this? A lantern. No, I do not want to fight with a lantern. That's kind of counterintuitive. There you go. 
Now we have the worm stuff. And I do not want to have a knife out because that usually goes bad. That's a bear. Sorry bear, I'm not here for you. Are the wolves fighting the bear? Wolves, don't come for me. Yep. Indeed, Arthur, indeed. Um, purse, careful. Also, I found a legendary fish. Okay. Arthur is actually cold, so I need to get him. Probably it's the boots that will make the difference, maybe. Hmm. Oh no, he was cold. He's okay now. Uh, what? Up, 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 up. Wrong way, wrong way. It's here. So let me save before we have a disaster. Yes. So that spot there looks suspicious.
How did the deer get here? Ooh, it's slippery. That is not good. Whoop, easy, Arthur. You. Oh, this is draining my energy. Come here, horse. Yep. Another legendary animal around here. Oh, it's hard for that singing. I'm like, who's um, That looks like a moose. Oh, there's the, there is the horse. Okay. Now we have to save. Hello, beautiful white horse. Do not trigger the moose and have it crush my dreams. I just want to be your friend. Since this is going to be interesting, Arthur, drink. Study. Right. Oh. Oh, now. now, settle the sh easy now. Hey, where, where are you going? I did. I did oh, save. Oh. It's definitely not an easy horse to get. Stay. Can I move? <sighs> okay. Now. Can I move? Easy now. Hey, come back. No, no, wait. Hey, wait, where are you going? 
Large enough. No, no, stay here. Hey, stop. Whoa, whoa, wait. That doesn't sound friendly. Because it's not. Hi, Elk. Bye, Elk. Be very surprised if there is nothing here. A random night stand. You flourish before you die. Ha. Huh. Hmm. I cannot take a photo of it, can I? No. <laughs> yep, deep and philosophical. Give me the last two. Because I don't think I need to use the lasso on the horse at all. What is it? Oh wait, you're here. Hold on, come back. Let's be friends. Before I die from frostbite. We're friends. I have a carrot for you. She's enough. Stay calm. Really? Nice and easy. Oh, no. Really? Wait. Hey, stop. Whoa, whoa. Wait. Hey, where, where are you going? It's sad that I got stuck with the horse. Hey, stop. Good. Yeah, get out of here so I can actually catch you. And the horse was stuck. And there are no mistakes, Sebastian, only little happy accidents. Now, where did this crazy horse go?
Also, this looks suspicious. That's a hollow tree. A horsey! Yeah, I think it got stuck on the mountain. Yep. Story. The game. <laughs> yes, Bob. Uh, 301, that's three minutes ago. No. Let's do this again without the horse getting stuck on the mountain. Funny thing about that horse is hot, hot. horse is that it's ridiculously fast. I am here. Me is here. Horus is where? What? the right way or am I going back so I want to go somewhere around here I think yep. because I think that horse stays close to the river as much as it can Auto save, yes. Override. Ah, my stamina increased. Good. Here. Why am I up here? What's the wrong way? Unless it's stuck here. I should then the save fix that. Uh, so its path is here, and it followed this path. Then it got lost. Who would have thought that it's really hard to find a white horse in a snowy terrain? start the L. good that will unlock them for me so there is a track of an unknown animal here
I'm so gonna end up finding yeah. the bison. <laughs> Which is totally not my goal. So, I am way too far up for the horse. The horse uh, should journey around here. Idiot. Again, shoot is a keyword here. Yep. There's a truck of another unknown animal. Yeah. Which went that way. Okay, well now I can identify those. Are those wolves? Get back. Those are wolves. Easy. Why can I not see a thing? Where did this crazy horse go? Did it leave them up or what? Let me load one more time. Uh, because I'm pretty sure I saved right in front of it. Here. I saw it here. Also, I think Arthur might be freezing a little bit. Oh, just a little. Okay, well, let's go with the speculation on, that. It moved because even the weather remained the same after loading. So I don't think everything is saved exactly as it should. So that's a rabbit. A bird. That's a bunch of deer. A 
can go check if it's up there. I don't think it is. of more deer yeah. no no other save yes turn out save off for now so that's all deer none of those are horses And Alks. Sip. This is where the weird draw is. Yeah. All the steps are for the other animals. study you too since you're here Come on. I'm really starting to think that the horse actually left them up. Like genuinely left them up. Frozen deer. And the last time I've seen it, it was galloping up the mountain. New tracks for what? Where am where is it and what am I tracking? Here. Yep. <laughs> nope, first cannot go up. You run, can you go up? Yes. Uh, easy. Mm. Well, at least the high vantage point helps somewhat. see any horses out there oh wait i have binoculars ha. Deer. Is 
The funniest thing will be if that horse just randomly passes in front of me while I have the binoculars out and looking for it far away. That will be hilarious. Are you the unknown animal? <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, well, wait, I got to the horse. Yeah. I think I'll have to go and come back at a later date for it, so it responds. I'm going to walk back down here, because I have no idea where that horse went. Like none. It just ran off. Nowhere to be seen here. Am I not close to the bison? Yep. Yep. Well, more like silly glitz because, yeah. a bad day aren't we friend You're all right, girl. Yeah. yeah it's a silly thing that the save didn't hold the position of the animal. Hello. Here we are. I better get more. Hey, let's yeah. chase the bison. What could go wrong? I got a ways to go. Must be close. Yup, that is close. You have a gun on me? I do. Give me a tunic. Ah, so you're a scaredy cat. No, you're not. Oh, 
that was easier than expected. I'm here, horse. Oh, new talisman. So let's put that here. Let's do something which might be a bit stupid. Pumping time. What do I craft? Coffee, always. Ooh, coffee gives a lot of energy. Good. Flame prime beef. Well, hello. Can I choose to cook all of them? Or do I need to do one at a time? I think I need to do one at a time. Okay, those things really do kill me up. Probably sell good as well. Should be the third. Get away. I can make tunics. Uh, what do you do? Fully restore stamina and health and I die. I don't need the resolver cartridges. I'm good. So yeah, let's make one of these. Courtesy of Jose. Put it away. Okay. Go have a nap. Uh, poor sleep. I want to sleep to see if it will actually make the weather pattern change and uh, bring the animals back. I don't think so, but sleep until morning. Yes, sleep for sixteen hours, and hopefully you won't die from the cold. Or the horse won't die from the cold. Because if it does, well, we got a problem. Let's make enough coffee. <laughs> Down the camp. Yeah, six, six, uh, pomade has worth. <laughs> 16 hours in the snow, not very good, especially when he barely has, um, oh, that's a piece, enough protecting gear, which the game has been very kind to tell me that I do not have enough protecting gear. I see a horse, but not the horse I want. Yeah. 
Is it a random stranger? Yeah, I know what it is. You should not underestimate Wolf Strength. That there too. Yes. Might as well get the XP. But it does look like things did move around. So put that there. The guy didn't even thank me, he just ran off. Good. So I want to go across. Can I put multiple markers? No. So I want to get back here. And see if it's there now. Hello, Morgan. Good morning. Always. I might have a bit of a beef with that white horse glitching out on me, but yes, <laughs> I am enjoying it. I mean, I've been at it for, what, a good uh, five and a half hours? again they're fighting good fight each other don't fight me okay you're coming for me <laughs> sorry puppies don't have it don't have a choice in my way.
Oh, look, another unknown animal. Who knows what it is this time? Is that you, rabbit? Now we know of the deer as well. So that cannot throw me off anymore. Yeah. Okay, well, doesn't look like there is a horse for me here. Probably fell off a cliff. When I was chasing it earlier. Yep. That's a bummer. Maybe in a few days it will be back. Yep. What's that? I'm back on the deer. Okay. Let's get out of here. So, next stop. Out in handy. That's the rock. Horse. <laughs> Can go over a rock. Oh. Hello. Uh. Mammoth bones. Well, there's that. Save again, so it resumes with the auto saves. Come on, my girl. Are you sending me on the right way, or are you sending me on a wild goods chase? Hold on. You're not making me take a circle, are you? No. Well, I guess I'm keeping you horsey. Pretty horsey. Be 
Because normally it would start spawning down here. And yes, it's really going to bug me where that horse went. So I was hunting to get the Arabian horse and uh, it got stuck on a mountain so I loaded a previous save so I can try again and uh, it vanished, it's gone, it doesn't exist. So oh, that was fun. <laughs> That's what I figured. So I guess I'll just go do a few quests and come back to get it later. At least I killed the bison, so that's something. What was that? <laughs> You're not meant to fall during cinematic view. <laughs> or see? Why can I not cut? Easy, girl. You're okay. Yep. Here, have some food. Let's go because we are freezing. And with the frequency you like to cross on things, I should probably go to the trapper, huh? Can I go to the trapper from here? Or will it, will it be an adventure? Mm, yeah, it's gonna be an adventure. That's alright. Okay! Off we go! No wolves. This is done. Thanks to outfit two. Yes. Stop moving horse. That's better. Now we have the summer outfit.
Well, at least it's getting faster now that it's leveling up. The scenery is incredible. It's definitely an eye candy kind of game. Look at that. It makes traveling around those vast distances enjoyable. There is a lot of back and forth in this game, like you move between places a lot. So. Should I just go? Yeah. If I find any on my way, I will do it. Challenge is still a challenge. Eventually everything needs to happen, so... That was not me. Shit. Yep. Nope, I'm not saying to take the blame for that. Yep. Hi, Richard. Welcome. It certainly is. And there is always so much to do. It's like, oh, should I go hunting? Should I go do a quest? Should I go do a side quest? Should I go do herbalist? <laughs> Do I want to go on an adventure? Everything is a thing. So close. So I still don't have enough stamina to do that. Horse. Uh, 
Probably I was meant to be closer. I'm here, horsey. Don't trip. You carry important cargo. Okay, so... Have this. No, no, this. Don't use that. Uh, no, I want... No, nothing. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, girl. How far am I? I'm getting there. Hearts, big game meat. Boy, the things I can make with this. Okay, so what can All you make now with that? I told from the challenges. Which one was it? Items? No. Those if you're ever passing through Scarlet Meadows, keep your eyes uh, for the bison, it would have to be this. Yeah, okay. oh, I don't need any of those now. Thank you. And oh no 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 quitting. Um. And where do I want to go now? I don't have anything I want to do on the emerald side. nothing to do on those yet so it's back to the camp okay i'm on horsey let's do it oh wait now i do have something i want to do i want to see what's up with those trees So, there is the fork tree, well, sort of fork tree. Yep. Is that the last tree? I don't see any other bizarre ones. What's this? A random stick that looks like a marker. Okay. And there is someone here. <laughs> These here are city folk. They're gonna have trinkets and all. I want food, not trinkets. Can't eat trinkets. 
Well, food don't go make you pretty. <laughs> you ain't never gonna be pretty. That ain't how you was acting last night. <laughs> you shut up about that. Something's up. We gotta scram. Come on. I don't want to rest now. I want to loot this guy, thank you. Oh, her pomenade. Nice. Salary, because why not? Oh, new shotgun. Uh, sure. Let me pick it up. Okay, so I'm guessing the strange streets were that for that camp. And the cinematic camera definitely adds to it. Just lift as hard as you can. 
Oh, thank you. Whoa. Thank you. Sure. You saved me. Oh, okay. that was bad. Sure. Uh, I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? <sighs> well. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. Oh, yes, mister, please. Wait. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Well, we're heading there, so come on, lady. Get on my horse. Well, apparently there is one person we can help. Slow down, please. Okay. He wants to see the cynic crowd. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. Mhm. Mm I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I, I borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband, well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. Ah! He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. This sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Imagine if I had the Arabian. Hello. We're close now. Just a little further. Mister. What's with you then? Is wrong with you. Hey, mister. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Thanks for the ring. You be well. Hi, lady. Money. You want to start something? Give me something? I don't want to start something. Hold on. Just want to get a drink. Yes, that's that. I'm parched. Hmm. You the guy? Hello, sir. Hey, fellow Nickel. Ah, you are the guy. Ah, there he is. Hey, mister. Hey, brother. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? 
Sure. Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? Sure. Exactly. The retirement is not a thing. Was not a thing. Okay, just quickly. That felt good. It's nice to be held sometimes. Certainly. To hold each other in the war. You got sad eyes, mister. Like you've seen sad things. Remember with kindness. Hi, friend. Come on, girl. Why is there a white horse here? Why is the game mocking me? You're a sire. No, you don't count. You're not an Arabian. No, not stopping. No, the game is mocking. It's like, oh look, white horse. Oh look, another white horse. Would you like a white horse? How about a white horse? Okay. Right horse? You had a moment there. Totally. Who's that? Me. It's me. The hero return. <sighs> home sweet home. Good. Mary Beth. Good evening, Arthur. Mr. Morgan. Hi. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Miss Grimshaw reminds me of Cruella de Vil with the whole sort of silver stripe on her hair. I don't know. I'm weird. Hi. Evening, Arthur. Have a nice evening. Evening. I see some. Uh, can you see it actually? Is it here? Let's give some money. Take item. Oh, hold on. I do want that. Take the watch. Listen to me. Don't, none of you, never go do something stupid and get yourself a woman. You hear me? Trust y'all with Uncle John on this one. Take that. And if you got one, get rid of them. Go drown them in the goddamn ocean. Because trust me, boys, it's you or them. You or them, they'll kill you. But they won't do you the kindness of shooting you or slitting your throat. They will slow um, where is you down it? to dust with the nagging and the over there to the complaints. Molly Chen's outfit. Hey, hey Molly. 
Commander. Uh, here's much. I need you to do me a favor. Nothing too serious. Uh huh. I need you to help Herr Strauss. Ah, the mind maker. I've been working hard, Dutch. I know, and I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous, but it pays. Please, son, for me. <sighs> okay. You big old. That's rude. Can I take the cigar he just dropped? Yup. No, I have too many. So there's something interesting over here. I don't know if it is here yet or if it appears a little later. Uh yep. So can you guess what's in the Bible? The good stuff for injecting alcohol into little uh, vials. Because, you know, Chris needs his toolkit. Let's give uh, Arthur a nap. Good morning. Okay, and I'm gonna wrap it up here for now. That's a good six hours. I'll be back with more Red Dead tomorrow. Or probably another long one. Thanks everyone for hanging out with me and watching, and I will catch you all later.